or subtract the similar fractions without regrouping. But dali lang yan. Just don't forget this rule. First, find the least common denominator. Next one, make your given fraction similar using the technique divide, multiply, and put. And the last one, apply the rules on how to add or subtract similar fractions. Let's take for example, 2 thirds and 1 eighth. The first one is we need to find the LCD. And then the LCD of these two fractions is 24. So next, apply the MP, that is divide, multiply, and then put. How do we do it? Like this. So 24 divided by 3, you will get 8. From that answer, you need to multiply it. So 8 times 2, it will give you 16. And we're done with divide, we're done with multiply, then we'll proceed with P, the put. So 16, put it to the corresponding fractions there. Okay, so that will be 16 over 24. Next, you have 24 divided by 8, it will give us 3. And then multiply it to the numerator, you will get 3. And then put 3 on the corresponding fraction. Okay? And then what's the next step? Since we have now 16 over 24 and 3 over 24, what we need to do is to copy the LCD. Okay? So since the LCD is 24 now, next is you have to add the numerators. 16 plus 3 will give us 19. Final answer is 19 over 24. Next, what if we have 5, 6 plus 1, 4? So find the LCD. LCD is 12. Proceed with the MP. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. And put 10 on the corresponding fraction. Next, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then 3 multiply 2, the numerator 1, it will give us 3. And then put 3 on the corresponding fraction. So you'll have there 3. So we have now 10 over 12 and 3 over 12. So next, copy the LCD. And then add the numerators, which is 13. 13 over 12 is an improper fraction. So we can convert it into mixed numbers. So how do we convert it? You may watch the video tutorial about converting on my other videos. But the answer there is 1 and 1 over 12. Okay, next one. What if we have one-fifth and one-half? What will we do? Can you try to solve this? While you're doing it on your paper, I will help you how to solve this one. Same procedure, get the LCD and the LCD is 10. Next, DMP or divide, multiply, put. 10 divided by 5, it will give you 2. 2 times 1, it will give you 2. Then put 2 there and the corresponding fraction. Next, and divide by 2 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5, and then put 5 there. And then that's it. You have 2 over 10 and 5 over 10. What's next? Copy the LCD, so you'll have 10, and then add the numerators. Then 7. Okay, next. What if I want to use a different technique? You may actually use the cross-multiplication technique. How does this technique apply in this um, lesson? Try to look at this one. A while ago, we tried to answer one fifth plus one half, and we got an answer of seven over ten. So let's use a different technique. Let's see if we will have the same answer. So first one, you cross multiply the numerator on the other fraction and the denominator of the other fraction. So like this. So one times two, it will give us two, and one times five, it will give us five. So now you have the cross products already, the two and the five. And what's next? To get uh, the denominator of our final answer, we have to multiply the denominators. So when we multiply the denominators, we will have their 5 times 2, we will get 10. Okay? And then what's next? Next, you need to add the cross products. And since we got 2 and then 5 added, 2 plus 5, it will give us 7. Is it the same answer as what we had a while ago? The answer is yes. So it's the same thing. You can apply this technique or the first one. Your choice. We may lowest term this if necessary, but in this case, 7 over 10 is already in simplest form. So no need. What if we will now subtract fractions? 
So, as you can see, we have too many additional fractions a while ago, but the rule also applies in this one. So, you will still get the LCD, the LCD is 35, and then apply DMP, 35 divided by 7, 5, 5 times 5, 25, and then put 25. Next, 35 divided by 5, 7, 7 times 2 is 14, and then put 14. Okay, so you can see it's the same thing. The operation is just a different one. So for the final answer, we will copy the LCD and then we will subtract the numerators. Okay, is that in lowest term? Yes, so that will be our final answer, 11 over 35. Will this apply also in a cross multiplication technique? The answer is yes. So how will we do that? So it's the same thing, cross multiply. So first one is 5, and then times 5, it will give us 25, and then 2 times 7, it will give us 14. Okay, so what will be our denominator in the final answer? So multiply the denominators, so we have there 7 and 5, so 7 times 5, it will give us 35, and then subtract the cross products, 25 minus 14, it will give us 11. So it's the same answer as what we had a while ago, 11 over 35. That was term if necessary, but there's none anymore, so that's it. So how do we add or subtract the similar fractions without the grouping? Find the least common denominator. We make the given fraction similar using divide, multiply, and put. We may apply the rule on how to add or subtract similar fractions. You see? Matdali, di ba? Matdali lang naman matutunan. So share mo rin to sa iba para may matutunan rin sila. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.